Hello everybody, Twitch Nitro here and welcome back to Minecraft. Today I'm just gonna, I'm just making a, a sort of short a explanation video on something that I'm currently working on. If you followed me on Twitter, uh, I'm, I'm posting constant updates on, uh, on what I'm currently working on and that is uh, this adventure map. I haven't come up with a name for it yet. I came up with a basic concept of how I want to build the adventure map and how I want it to work. I'm probably going to be doing things with resource packs and other fancy techniques. I just woke up one day and figured I'd make a uh, adventure map, uh, basically. And I've been having a lot of fun constructing it. So if we take the first teleporter here in my world. Oh, this isn't loading very well, is it? Ah, there we go. I haven't loaded this area in a while, I think, so that might be affecting it. So over here we have, uh, this is going to be uh, the hub area where a lot of it takes place. I've, I'm uh, this area is pretty much constructed. Uh, I'll take I'll take a tour through it because you're going to be able to see this area. I'm try I'm going to try and uh, not in this update video and potential future update videos. I'm going to try and not ruin the story and ruin some of the surprises that take place. So um, I probably won't uh, tell you about any of the details that I'm making, but you know uh, I've got this area here. This is probably where you'll you'll start. Uh, none of this area is really constructed yet. Um, this this I don't think I don't know. You can tell me about this. I don't think this looks very nice. I'm gonna probably remove it and redesign this hallway. Uh, I don't quite like it. I made it in a in a rush just to sort of connect this area. So this opens up out into this sort of wide open space. We have a, a, hedge, ma a hedge maze here. Uh, won't go into too much detail. Um, Got to leave it as a little bit of a surprise. Although, to be honest, it's not, <laughs> it's not really a maze. It's just, uh, just more of a feature. So the overall concept is that this is sort of like a main hub. Uh, this will be... This will access different uh, other sort of worlds. There are there are five that I have plans. I'm not going to um, explain where all of the the sort of teleportation areas are, but this this will be one of them. Uh, I guess I'll explain this one. So you'll probably jump down here and it'll teleport you to another world, and there'll be other areas and other teleportation things. These sort of pedestals have something to do with the story as well. Um, you know, and it's just a nice little spawn area. Uh, down here, I have I have this. This took me a while to construct. I've still not finished a lot of the detail work for the map. Um, I'm just sort of got the basic components down. <laughs> so this this little fella, he'll play a part. Um, he'll play a part in the story as well. Uh, ooh, down here, I like this. This is I, t I tweeted about this on um, Twitter as well. You know. I just I just take screenshots and I update people. So most of this is all available uh, on my Twitter page. So this is as much an advertisement for you to follow me on Twitter, if anything. <laughs> uh, uh, so this this area I haven't tweeted. So this is this is just you guys seeing this. Uh, nice little area. Gonna work on this a little. There's some ladders here, and you can get the general concept of this area. It's a, it's a basic jumping puzzle. I know that people, you know, it's sort of like um. It's classed on the lower end of map making. Uh, things that people don't like in maps or done poorly in maps are usually stuff to do with like jumping puzzles where you don't need jumping puzzles and people doing elaborate mazes that are, are boring. Apparently, uh, apparently people don't like it all that much when you add too many of those into maps. But I wanted to stay true to the Minecraft form. You know, I believe that every adventure map should have a jumping puzzle and should have something like a maze. So I'm catering to those that, that want those things. There will be a little bit of jumping, a little bit of mazing, a little bit of uh, here and there. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of combat and action. Uh, might put in a boss battle, or at least a mini-boss. I'm not sure. Uh, given where the story in my head is, there might be another map that precedes this. So this is going to be one of the areas. I won't take you really through the area too much, nor will I explain again uh, what it's for. But this is going to be a sort of a sewer system. I've got some templates here and I've worked on uh, quite an expanse of it already. I'm still missing some of it. 
that will be important and crucial to the to the storyline but this will be one of the areas and no doubt I will show more of the areas some of this I've tweeted out um, but I guess it's it's better to sort of see it in its three-dimensional glory so we have uh, as you can see I'm, I'm going into details you know I'm trying to get everything because sewer systems sewer systems usually you know they're sewers they don't they're not going to differ a lot um, in their look. So I'm trying to make it look as unique as possible and as interesting as possible. I'm going to put little little nuances and details as I go through and construct more of this. So we have these sort of houses here that have like a rickety look to them. I used jungle wood because I figured it would it would suit the design. I'm not going to plan on changing the textures for the base game. I'm going to use resource packs for custom sounds and storytelling. Uh, I'm working on some N NPCs and whatnot, so this will be some kind of farm area, and uh, and don't worry, you'll uh, you'll find out, you'll find out what information I have. So this is obviously where the whoever tends to this area lives, you know, and they've got these vines in front of the doors as sort of like natural curtainy type things. The whole area here is swamp biome as well, so I could get the uh, the water and the plants and the things to look specific types of uh, colors and stuff and as you can see I've gone into some seed detail making some mushrooms bridges uh, other areas we've got uh, storage areas and little underground marketplace in there who knows maybe you can trade with some NPCs in there although it probably isn't going to be fitting in with the story I guess I should I might explain the story a little bit you know, a bit of a spoiler alert. I'm going to have, uh, obviously, an evil entity of some kind, or an evil organization, or, or what have you. Some evil force will be involved, as as is any good story. I've got some living areas down here. I think I've customized some of the rooms. Actually, I've customized all the rooms, but I'll, I'll show you one or two of them. This one's got a bunk bed in, apparently. Um, over here, just a humble, humble living space for the sewer dwellers <laughs> that will that will live here I think that's uh, enough of that but yeah uh, there'll be an evil thing that obviously you as the hero of the story will um will you know have to uh sort of solve or defeat uh, there will be puzzles in the map as well might go into some of that this is obviously an area which you'll gain access to later uh, on this on this sort of map area and uh, this is some of the uh, up here this is the area I haven't yet designed or built um, so you'll be going from area to area completing certain tasks and quests and and hopefully the story will be uh, will, will be adequate I'm hoping that it will be and hopefully my voice acting is up to the task I've got some funny voices and stuff lined up potentially for the for the different NPCs you run into. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give a quick update on it. I might make a couple of little snippet videos to uh to sort of whet your appetite on uh on what is to come. Um my hope is that you guys will see this video and uh I, I can gauge or test the waters to see what what uh you all think of me making an adventure map. Obviously I have made a sort of mini adventure map in the past. Um, my Halloween, my previous uh, Halloween adventure map. Um, there was a lot with that that I didn't sort of like. I was I was test you know I was um, working things out. And obviously it was Halloween based. It was a lot shorter than this map's going to be. Although this map is quite small itself, but I'm building everything uh, by myself, so that's quite difficult and time consuming. Um, but I'm enjoying the challenge of coming up with build designs and and coming up with the lore and, and learning and doing things in Minecraft that I haven't really uh, done before. Let's get some creepers, shall we? And uh, maybe some redstone blocks I can show off this while I talk. So I'm very much enjoying the process, but... Um, hold on. <laughs> yeah, this still works. Let's put some creepers down in here. So this is just a little a little thing. It's like a force field type thing. And I can use it to 
control where uh, mobs go. So I'm I'm working on all sorts of little tech pieces to help. Um, <laughs> if I put lots and lots and lots in here, they just sort of push each other around. So I'm working on controlling mobs and things like that to to have sort of events happen in the world and uh, be activated and whatnot. So all sorts of redstone and and other things. So I'm definitely enjoying the construction of this. And uh, and yeah, I want to know what you guys think about me making this map. Uh, as I said, I I'd made that previous Halloween map, but it's n it's going to be nothing compared to this. And there was a lot of problems with that map that I'm not going to repeat. I learned a lot doing it, and I'm learning a lot doing this, and it's it's very fun. So I'm eager to hear what you think. So you know, in the comments, if you could leave a sort of um, maybe suggestions even. Or things that you saw in other maps that you like design elements. I have been looking at other uh, adventure maps to see sort of what they did. I'm very much inspired by Hypixel's maps. Um, you know, the fact that he doesn't put out a lot of maps these days. And I know that to make quality maps like that, it takes a lot of things. And he, he's a, v a busy man doing his server stuff. So I'm not saying that I want to fill that void, but I'm very much inspired and... I, I really thought that what he was doing with maps was, uh, as particularly in the adventure map genre, was just very, very good, you know. And uh, there's a lot added to the game since he's released maps that I think I can sort of use. And, you know, I can do it. I mean, he had build teams and he had uh, other just, uh, just tons of experience in this. And, I, what you know, I don't have that. But I'm hoping that, you know, I can... I can I can put up my my adventure map and hopefully it'll um <laughs> and they'll just sort of spread out afterwards. And uh hopefully I can fill some of that adventure map void. Um you know, because I know that a lot of people have been wanting different adventure maps and there have been adventure maps being released. But I feel that all of the updates that came out in 1.8 has bamboozled some some map makers and stuff and they've been working on little things and I really wanted to just go out and actually just see how quickly I could make this map and how much work I could put into it to see whether or not maybe my future in, in videoing and stuff lies in adventure maps. Obviously I'm not promising anything but I'm hoping this will be quite good. So yeah, I'm, I'm eager to hear what you said as I've said like a thousand times now in this video. It's probably getting on a little bit too long for uh, and a li it's, been, it's a little bit too talky for a normal video, but as I said, this isn't really a normal video, it's just a short little something that I've, that I want you guys to really take part in, and and I don't want to leave you out in, out to dry, you know, when it comes to what I'm working on, so I very much want to engage as much as possible with both the building of the map and the, and, and all of you, so. Alright, well, I guess that's it for this video. Until next time, um, I'll probably have another one of these videos out relatively shortly, maybe after I finish a couple of the other areas, or maybe if I come up with some tech that I want to show off. But other than that, uh, make sure that you uh, leave a comment on uh, what's this. If you don't follow me on Twitter, there's always a link in the description to that. I know that some people don't often know that I'm on Twitter, and you might want to you know, check that out, so I don't know if that's anything you're interested in, but I've mentioned it now, so you know. Uh, <laughs> And I will see you all next time. Bye.